Hello everyone and welcome back to Today is Tomorrow's Past. It's been months since I last uploaded a video, two months in fact, and I thought with Easter coming, what better video to start back with than the history of chocolate. Chocolate originated in present day Mexico, but then called Mesoamerica. It's here that the first cacao plants were found. The Aztecs lived from 1300 to around 1500 and were the first to turn the plant into chocolate. They would dry, grind and then mix the beans with water to create a drink. But their chocolate drink was bitter and frothy and was often mixed with chili. They poured the mixture from one pot to another to create the foamy beverage called chocolatel meaning bitter water, which some think the modern word chocolate comes from. They revered the drink. They gave it to victorious warriors after battle, would use it during religious rituals, and to them, cacao beans were more valuable than gold. Centuries later, the Mayans praised chocolate as the drink of the gods. Mayan chocolate was a brew made of roasted and ground cacao seeds mixed again with chilies, water and cornmeal. They drank it as a refreshing beverage, an aphrodisiac and even to prepare for war. Nobody knows for certain when chocolate made its way across the Atlantic, but legend has it that explorer Hernan Cortes brought chocolate to his homeland Spain in 1528. Cortes was believed to have discovered chocolate during an expedition to the Americas. In search of gold and riches, he instead found a cup of cocoa given to him by an Aztec emperor. When Cortes returned home, he introduced cocoa to the Spanish, though still served as a drink. Initially, it was often used as a medicine, but its bitter taste led people to try and sweeten it. So, some added sugar, vanilla or honey, and this, of course, made it absolutely delicious. Chocolate quickly became popular among the rich and wealthy. Even Catholic monks loved chocolate and drank it to aid religious practices. The Spanish kept chocolate quiet for a really long time. It was nearly a century before the treat reached neighbouring France and then the rest of Europe. In 1615, French King Louis XIII married Anne of Austria, the daughter of Spanish King Philip III. To celebrate the union, she brought samples of chocolate to the royal courts of France. Following France's lead, Chocolate soon appeared in Britain at special chocolate houses. Cacao is the Spanish word for cacahuatl, which is what Aztecs call the beans chocolate is made from. It's thought that English traders misspelled cacao when they brought the beans home, and that's where we get the word cocoa. The new craze for chocolate brought with it a new slave market as between the early 17th and late 19th centuries, the laborious and slow processing of the cacao bean was manual. Cacao plantations spread as the English, Dutch and French colonised and planted, with the depletion of Mesoamerican workers largely to disease. Cocoa beans production was often the work of poor wage labourers and enslaved Africans. In 1729, the first mechanic cocoa grinder was invented in Bristol, England. Wind-powered and horse-drawn mills were also later used to speed up processes, and an invention in 1732 of heating the mill also assisted in the production. In 1828, the invention of the chocolate press revolutionised chocolate making. The machine squeezed cocoa butter from roasted cacao beans, leaving a fine cocoa powder behind. 
The powder was then mixed with liquids and poured into a mould where it solidified into an edible bar of chocolate. This introduced the modern era of chocolate. Many of our well-known chocolate companies started life in the 19th century. Lindt began in 1845, Nestle in 1866, Cadbury was already manufacturing box chocolates in England by 1868, and in 1893, Hershey's was founded. Due to improvements in machines, chocolate underwent transformation from primarily a drink to the food that we know now. And different types of chocolate began to emerge, and by the 1900s, the price of chocolate had begun to drop dramatically meaning chocolate could now be purchased by the middle class. <laughs>